Jesus, man. There's colour everywhere. Woo! Two seasons ago, siblings Sophia and Isaac, the Opal Whisperers, were part of a team that discovered the biggest haul in Outback Opal Hunters history. We've got $1.2 million. Using their share of the profits, they bought their own claim, Yawa House. This season, the pressure's really on. The Opal provides us with the funds that we need to buy the machinery that we need to mine our own claim. We spent a lot of our money that we earned in the first season on our setup. We've got high hopes for this season. We've set our target at $150,000. Our family legacy is um, one of the most important dynamic driving forces of this entire operation. Well, I'm just looking at the number of pieces that have just been finished. Magic, sheer magic. Our parents did this before us. We were brought up in Opal. They started in 1961, and we really want to do them proud. With their father living overseas for the past 15 years and their mother retired, Sophia Andreu now manages the jewellery shop set up by her parents. In our family story, I have the pleasure of dealing with some of the rarest gems in the world. But out of everything, there's nothing like Opal. I started cutting at eight years old. I can literally read the formation to see what's inside it. There's everything riding on this season. If we don't find Opal, we're going home empty-handed. It's, uh, it's about 40 feet to the bottom there. And, uh, I mean, it goes a lot deeper than that. Does it? It goes down to about 60 feet. Last year, we struggled a little bit. We only got half of our budget. This year, we um, need to find Opal then get, you know, equipment. Imagine buying an excavator. That'd be a massive win this year. Sophia and Isaac are working for a 30% share on a family friend's mine. After their own claim, Yawa House was flooded. We're thinking constantly about the Yawa House claim. So there, we're really on 100%. Here, we're on 30%. And basically, we need to quickly find Opal to continue to find Opal in our own claim. Yui and son Ricardo's multi-million dollar claim passed down to them from Yui's father is 10,000 square metres and nearly 20 metres deep. Underground, there is a tangled maze of tunnels. This is a yawa nut here. It's a clay nut, so the centre of it's just white clay. Yawa nuts like this are a phenomenon. They don't really know what they were. Unique to this region, the Yawa nut is a hard shell of ironstone, often filled with clay. On rare occasions, silica-rich water has filled cracks in the ironstone, hardening and forming opal in intricate patterns. Uh, I can see a little bit of tiny, tiny bit of green in the bottom there, so I'll, I'll have a bit of a go. And lots of these little clay, clay-filled nuts, um, but no colour, no dice yet. I got this nut out here. Uh, there's a little bit of an indication of colour on it, but it's... There. Oh! Oh, look at that! Oh, wow! Look at that! Wow! Isaac! They Check. found colour! Check that out. Oh, wow! Love it! And there's two halves of it. Ricardo found colour, which is really exciting, so I'm going to drop this bit of, uh, bit of roof down so it's safe for everyone of mine, and then we'll get into the digging and hopefully find some more of what Ricardo pulled out. Hey! That looks safer. That looks better. That's much better. These are all the, uh, the little yawa nuts that came down from the overhang, and we're just furiously going through them because any one of them could be um, filled with colour. That's what you want. Uh, uh, see what that did. Nah. Uh, where are we? Guess what? Color? Color? Color. We got a bit of green. Really? A bit of green. Electric uh, green? Yeah, yeah, quite bright. Just in the in the edge there. Right. We'll saw that one up at home. Well, that's a nut there. There's oh, another yeah, one. Look at that. That's a decent size too. Yeah, that's it's nice. A nice size, eh? Yeah, yeah, we'll cut them up at home. Oh, wow. That's colour. Colour. Got colour. Yeah, wow, wow. Yeah. 
Have you got colour? Yeah, check really? it out. Yeah. Oh, wow, That's cool. a nice green colour. We won't really know what it's worth or how big of a face the opal will cut until we get it to the machines. The yellow nut will show its true face, and that's what I want to see. 50 years later, I meet her from the angel, and... Uh, yeah, and you're still finding opal. Uh, a very, very nice opal at that. Yeah. That's beautiful. This is the first real test of how that partnership's going to go. If we're not happy with what he's cut, and if he hasn't gotten to at least 15,000, then I think we're going to have to re rethink this partnership altogether. All right, so out of the little blue bucket, I cut these six stones. Yeah, that's very nice. And a bit of rough here that I'm still looking at. Mm -hmm. And I even collected the chips to make sure yeah. you've got every piece. To prove their worth and secure a mining partnership with Yui and Ricardo, Isaac has cut and polished six Yawa nuts predominantly blue-green and with flashes of red, and partially worked 20 grams of large opal chips. Well, what do you reckon, Dad? Well, uh, three, five, maybe six. OK. And how much for this one, Dad? 700. OK. This one about 400. Uh, this one about 500. So what value did we come to? Uh, we have 10,600 altogether. That's a bit less than what we imagined. Look, all I can say, you can't get blood out of a stone. Uh, but actually, you guys didn't put anything on for the rough bits that are uh, left over? There's no, that's right, that's of course. Right. There's amazing colour in that yeah. stone. It could be anywhere between 3,000 and 5,000. So we'll say in the middle to be, say, 4,000? Yeah, yeah. Oh, look, look at this. There's a little chip here as well. That's oh, beautiful. That's yeah. that's... That'll produce yeah. a nice stone. That is very nice. For this little chip, that could easily cut a $500 stone. Yep. Mm -hmm. OK, so with that considered, a $50 jar, 300 bucks worth of chips. So, altogether, 15150 You're kidding. I'm serious. Yes. There you go. The good news is... Guys, we're in business. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Hands in, hands in, hey. guys. Yeah. Wait yeah. We managed to just get over 15,000. I'm very, very happy with Isaac's cutting. I think moving forward, the partnership's going to work, and I hope we find some better stuff. I was nervous for a minute there. I'm just really glad that we've proven ourselves, and we've got new partners with brilliant ground. If we play our cards right from here, then this partnership with you and Ricardo, we could really go somewhere with